This is an actual video response to the, the guys that post these videos about changing the relays. Uh, these relays and the Dodge tip them. It's uh, the EX1T2U1S uh, relay in, in the Dodge <clears throat> where the, the relays fail because uh, they're non removable. Um, if you use a Hako desoldering iron or desoldering gun, I should say. Uh, you can use that to uh, to take these out cleanly. They have conformal coating. You can see where the relay has overheated the board because it's all it's all brown right there. Part of this is conformal coating. Uh, if you notice that the part that looks like it's a gel, and then this part that's brown right here, th this is from the heat generated from uh, the tipum uh, as uh, that relay is working, uh, supplying power to the fuel. This is the, the fuel <clears throat> pump relay, and if uh, I'm going to take this out, I have it in a holder because uh, I have a, a workbench. Um, but uh, if you look on the opposite side of this, you can see that this is the part where the, well, you can see where I cleaned it off. But uh, this is where the relay actually is from the bottom where you desolder it at. Um, what you do is there's conformal coating on there, so I, I use a, uh, a flux remover um, that you can spray uh, on like a Q-tip. You don't have to spray it on the board and get it all over the place. Uh, just get uh, some flux remover. Uh, let's see if it'll let me. It doesn't have to be any special expensive kind. This is from Fry's. Um, even though Fry's is probably not going to be a long, uh, around for very much longer. Um, this defluxer you can use to uh, on a Q-tip to remove part of the conformal coating um, that is on top of this. this is what prevents uh, moisture from affecting the area where you're uh, where where it's being soldered. You can actually see that on the other relays. It's kind of a gold-looking coating um, that th that they that they coated on there. And if you notice, it's there's none right here, but in this area right here there's there's a relay uh and they're coated but you can take that off with a q-tip and then you should just add fresh solder to it and then use the de uh, the hacko desoldering gun to remove the uh, solder this is a multiple layer board so you have to make sure um <clears throat> that uh, you turn the heat up uh i have a, a hacko soldering iron that gets to a certain temperature my solder, I have my soldering iron set to the temperature of the solder that I use. I just raised it like 10 degrees um, so that I could add solder to it uh, before I removed it. Don't use uh, a solder sucker. It's a waste of time. Like you'll be spending all this time. It takes way less time just to go through each one of these relays. If you're replacing all seven of them, um, <clears throat> you can just go through and add solder to them uh, to, to, that allows you to remove um, some of the solder that was on there from the manufacturer. It'll actually like boil away any of the impurities that are on in there. And, uh, and, and that also this, uh, you have to think that these were made with uh, non-leaded solder in some cases. <clears throat> so if you have leaded solder, you can use that to, to clean it out or you can get uh, non-leaded solder and add it back in. But uh, I, I have my trusty Radio Shack uh, spools that I have of light duty uh, solder. I have different spools of solder all over the freaking place. Like, but uh, you want to make sure not to use. Uh, you don't want to use like a lot of solder to add to the solder points. Just enough so that you can uh, put the gun on there and use the tip you you touch the tip to the point where you want to desolder but you have to be careful you don't want to leave this on for too long because the way these boards are made if you heat heat up that solder point for way too long what will happen is it will start pulling uh it'll pull the pad out or the uh, there's actually a a metal core that's in there because this is a multiple layer board if you if you uh leave it on there for too long you'll start causing issues with uh with that uh that solder point so you have to be careful not to damage any solder points whenever you're desoldering the uh, relays from this tip of them uh, don't use a clunky soldering iron use something that has a good tip 
Um, I, I don't use the big knife edge tip. I just use the, the point tip and I just do it one at a time. Just take your sweet time. Don't do it while you're, don't do any of this work while you're tired. Get some sleep. Um, actually, that way you don't mess up anything and you don't have to worry about anything being broken. You can just go through this one at a time and take out each of the relays and replace each one. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments. Thanks. Oops, I broke it. <laughs>